Everyone remembers Norton from 20 years ago. Sluggish performance, complicated interface, annoying notifications. But Norton has changed a lot in the last few years, making it one of the best-selling antiviruses on the market today. But is it actually better now? Is it worth all the hype? Hi, I'm Eric from Safety Detectives. Let's get started. I'm gonna start with the bottom line. Norton has been working hard in the last few years fixing its mistakes, listening to customer requests and complaints. None of that was good. They've created an exceptional program. I've tested and reviewed a lot of cybersecurity products and I have very high standards for antivirus software. Norton 360 is by far the best Norton product I've seen and I'm confident in calling it one of the best antiviruses on the market. That said, not everything is perfect. The VPN is a little bit slow, the iOS app is not that good, and many Mac features are disabled. Also, the prices change rapidly. Sometimes it's way more expensive today than it was a couple days ago, but the link that I put in the description box is a link to their discount page, so that is always the cheapest price they're offering. Okay, let's go. Norton 360 is built around five core security features. Device security, cloud backup, secure VPN, password manager, parental controls. Let's start with device security. Norton calls its antivirus technology Sonar, semantic online network for advanced response. I ran a bunch of malware tests to check out how well Sonar protected my computer and it got a perfect score. Uh, Norton prevented simulated attacks to encrypt my files, transfer data away from my computer, and infect my computer with several Trojans. I also tested Norton's full scan scanning engine, which completed in under two hours. I was able to use my computer throughout the scan without any noticeable slowdown, so that's good. I let one malware file escape the scan by choosing not to quarantine it, and Norton's full scan detected this file. Nothing got past Norton's sonar system. It's simply just a top-notch antivirus engine up there with the best of them, Avira, Bitdefender, McAfee, Kaspersky, top-notch. One cool thing about Norton is that if your device is infected and Norton can't remove the virus, you could be entitled to a full refund under the Norton Virus Protection Promise. Uh, this is a very generous offer. McAfee has a similar policy, but most other brands don't offer this kind of guarantee, and it really shows that Norton stands behind their product. Cloud Backup Norton's Cloud Backup offers secure remote storage for important files. As you can see, Norton is much more generous than the competition. I found the whole storage system very easy to use, very user-friendly. Uh, you can easily access your files across your phone, your home computer, your work computer, you know, wherever, and the app looks great. One important aspect of cloud storage is that it protects you from ransomware. Uh, hackers can use ransomware to encrypt your files and force you to pay for the decryption key. But the cloud backup is a way to defend against that threat. If your files are safely backed up on the cloud, uh, it won't matter so much if the originals on your device get encrypted. So in short, the cloud storage is easy to use, secure, and offers way more value than the competition. A virtual private network, or VPN, helps you to protect your data that leaves your device when you access the internet. Uh, using a VPN is crucial when you connect to public Wi-Fi networks, so whenever I travel or work from a cafe or co-working space, I'm always first connected to a VPN. Norton's VPN, like many other VPNs, uses 256-bit AES encryption, which is very secure. Uh, it also has a strict no-logs policy, which means that Norton doesn't uh, record your identity or your browsing data when you use the VPN. So your online activity is always private. Another great thing about Norton Secure VPN is that it lets you use unlimited data. Uh, many other antivirus companies place data limits on their VPNs. Uh, Kaspersky is 300 megabytes per day. Bitdefender is 200 megabytes per day. Uh, Panda is 150 megabytes per day. So again, Norton is offering great value here. But when I tested Norton's VPN speed, I just wasn't that happy with it. VPNs always slow down the internet a little bit, but Norton slowed it down a lot. That said, it's still probably fine for most people. You can still stream high quality video, access geo-restricted Netflix, uh, you can browse securely. You know, none of that's a problem, but something more data intensive like, you know, immediate streaming of 4K Ultra HD video, 
that's probably not going to be that easy to do with Norton's VPN. Password Manager. Norton's Password Manager allows you to store and autofill usernames, passwords, and credit card information. Like the VPN, Norton uses 256-bit AES encryption, which again is very strong. I like a lot of the features here, uh, checking the strength of existing passwords, generating strong passwords, automatically changing passwords across sites. Features like Norton's auto change password are very rare, even among the best password managers on the market. As far as I'm aware, only Dashlane and LastPass have a similar feature. Uh, Dashlane's version is more developed, uh, works on over 300 sites. LastPass's version works on about 50 sites, which is fewer than Norton's password manager. So in short, Norton password manager is, is pretty good. Uh, but it isn't quite up to the standard of some of the best password managers like Dashlane, uh, which, for example, offers secure password sharing, emergency access, and more two-factor authentication options than, than Norton. Parental controls. I'm pretty confident in saying that Norton offers the best parental control app out there. Here's how it works. My first step in setting up Norton parental control was to create a profile for my child. Norton provides presets for four different age groups. Younger children should have very strict controls, while older children can have a little more freedom. Once I'd set up parental control on my computer, Norton prompted me to install the Norton Family app on my child's device. And setting up that other device was very, very simple. Norton asked me to consent to specific functions, such as location supervision, uh, on my child's behalf and it explained the implications of doing so. I used the parental control feature to limit how much time my child could spend on their device per day. I also imposed a curfew which disables some apps after a certain time of day. Here's what Norton displayed on my child's device when I tried to use an app after the curfew time. I also received an email to let me know what my child had been doing on their device that week. Important to note, Norton Parental Controls doesn't help you spy on your kid's communication. There is software for that, but I much prefer Norton's approach. It's, it's way more respectful. I, I like it a lot better. The downside to this is that the parental control feature is not available for the cheaper plans, uh, only from 360 Deluxe and up. Uh, maybe the biggest downside is that this feature isn't available on the Mac desktop versions, but the parental control app is on PCs, Android, and iOS. So if you're a parent and you use a, a PC especially, uh, I highly suggest investing in one of the plans that, that has the parental control feature. Plans and pricing. When it comes to plans and pricing, Norton does things a little bit differently than other antivirus companies. Norton offers three plans, and pretty much every feature is available across each of them. The two more expensive plans offer more licenses, more cloud storage space, and access to the parental control feature. I really like this approach. It gives a wide range of features across all plans to help everybody out regardless of the budget. This is a really cool thing that a lot of other antivirus companies don't do. So, bottom line, is it worth the money? Although Norton does have its downsides, Norton 360 is my favorite all-around antivirus software. Norton's 360-degree marketing angle is actually meaningful. Norton protects your device from pretty much every type of cybersecurity threat on each of its three plans. If you already have a VPN, password manager, parental controls, and plenty of cloud storage, and all you really need is an antivirus, uh, perhaps consider Norton's Antivirus Plus plan, which is just the antivirus with a couple extras like cloud storage. Uh, there's also Kaspersky's entry-level plan, Kaspersky Antivirus, which is probably the best value plan for you in this situation. But if you need a full, sweet antivirus, Norton is about as good as you're going to get best in terms of value, best in terms of features, best in terms of security. I should warn you that you're going to find a much higher price if you just Google Norton 360. Um, but again, I put a link in the description box below, which is going to take you to their discount page. And that's always the lowest price that's being offered. So that's it. If you want to say thanks for this video, hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment in the comment box below and let me know what you think of Norton 360.